Hey guys, it's Leverto one here. I know it's been a while now, but you see, my nephew cracked the screen of my computer by throwing a snorkel at it. I'm not even kidding. He is that nutty. And so I had it to, had to take it to some computer guy that my mom uses, and he kind of messed up the Wi-Fi thing. And so I've been trying to get it fixed for a while now. So, I'm really sorry about that. I've been talking with a few of you, of you guys on my iPad, but I can't record Universe Sandbox videos on that. But anyways, I noticed that we have a new update. Let me just scroll down to show you that. Uh, it's not here. That's odd. Well, I, don't, I don't know what to call this star. And... Let's just call it Dwarf Knob. We're gonna give all of our things stupid names. Right. Let us add. I'll show you guys what I mean by this update. Uh, for the couple of seconds that I'm gonna take to figure out how I want to arrange this solar system, um, it'll. I'll just leave you in suspense. So first, we're going to leave, put a gas giant right here. All right. So here we have our cool-looking gas giant. Uh, materials, hydrogen. It's a hundred percent hydrogen. We are increasing the mass to forty Earths. All right, that's good enough. All right. Um. Uh, motion. Let's take a look at how we want to do this. Obliquity. No, we can't change the obliquity. What? Alright. Anyways, um... That's annoying. Alright. Huh. Alright, so... Now, around it, we are going to add a nice big moon. It's going to be huge. It's like this big. Alright, now here is where I get to show you materials. What is changed? Here we go. I knew I wasn't going nutty. Alright, um, here we go. See, so you can change the color of planets now. So that is awesome. In the original Universe Sandbox, that was one of the funnest parts of it, if you ask me. But now we can do that again. So that's really awesome. So I'm just gonna make this planet blue. We have our blue planet. It's just a rocky thing. And that's cool. Um, materials. Also, they added a new display, which is a uh, holograph. Hologram. See, see this? That's so cool. Look at it. So it's just like e e holographic projection. I wonder how the star looks like in holographic projection. What? Oh, never mind, there's something different for it. Gemini, AI... Eh, that makes no sense. Anyways, let's go back to our holographic planet and change it back. So we don't like want to leave him like that forever. All the aliens are just like, What? Where's the stuff? It's all subsudes. Default. Alright. So anyways, let us add uh, another moon. Smaller moon. Also, you can see the shadows on the shadows of the objects on the planet. So I find that awesome. Here's our Okay, this guy needs a change of names. All right, that's a better name. If you notice what that actually said. This guy can't... Well, this guy's got a cool color scheme. Uh, of course, it's not weird enough for us, so we're gonna have to change that. Alright. Alright. Um, uh, okay. Let's explode on this. Alright. Good, good, good. Oh, blue. There we go. Now we gotta plan it weird enough. This is the kind of thing you might see in, like, No Man's Sky or something. Speaking of which, I got that game recently, uh, like, t 
like yesterday. I got so you see no, I got it on uh I got it on November thirty first. But I use I used my I, I used my iPhone to do it because I have the Steam app. So that's not Ah we can't see our star. Alright, here we go. Where's the why is there a line just oh you know, let's make drop knob, you know, not move. Position lock. There we go. Alright, so now that we have a... I wish you could change the color scheme of gas giants. Anyways, I want to show you how... How cool this is. What just... Gas is moving around. And if you watch this... Watch this. This planet is going to... A small part of it, the planet is eclipsed, which is cool. Alright, now we need to make this solar system weird. We are going to add a random rocky planet in the habitable zone, but he's going to be like this. So he's like. Mm, uh. Uh, inclination. We need a. We need a 90 degree inclination. We're gonna make it 90 degree. 90 degree. All right. There we go. Now this planet's strange. All right. Anyways, let's take a look at this guy. This guy is going to be a cold and frozen world, but we are going to make him look strange, like he's going to be a ninja, ninja planet. Ninja planet is going to be like this. See? Say ninja planet. Nope, that's not a ninja planet, but that still looks cool, so I'm going to go with it. Now it looks like ink got splattered all over him, and I like it. But we need to give him a weird moon to go with it. This looks like birchwood, kind of. We gotta give him a birchwood friend. Birchwood friend activated. This is a cool view, though. Plus, add moon around him. Wonder what it would be like to. Cloarkst. Alright, let's make him birchwood. Birchwood, Birchwood, Birchwood. No, that's not Birchwood, really. No, it's sorta close enough. Um, there we go, Birchwood. Birchwood, yay! Yay, we have a Birchwood planet. Sort of, not really. It's not as Birchwoody as this planet, but. Anyways, here's the next. Let's make the next parts of our puzzle. Alright, um, let's add a binary gas planet. Because that's totally a good idea. Alright. Vanist. Vanist. Alright, and then in orbit around him, we're going to add another gas planet. Now, this is going to be such an awful idea, but. Why not? This is actually might be really fun to watch. Now all we need is a moon to go nuts around it. All right, random rocky planet in orbit around it. There we go. Uh, this guy's gonna have a name of. Help me! Alright, there we go. Alright, now we need to give them odd colors. How about red? Ah, appearance. Open back up. I just don't love me. Red. And red. I am the red planets. Feel me. It's like Rudolph's nose turned into a planet or something. 
Uh, it would have been a better name, but oh well, too late. Well, actually, it's not too late, it's just too lazy. I feel like the controls are inverted these for some reason. Did that do something wrong? What the heck? Alright, let's watch this planet go like, Help me! I need help! I need psycho orbits. Or I might just break loose. No, don't break loose! Alright, uh, pause. Uh... Edit mode. There we go. We'll never lose him. You'll never leave us, Rudolph. You will stay with us for eternity. That was awesome. The planets grazed each other. No, they're in separate orbits now. Bad planets. Or not. They're not on separate orbits. Wow, there are huge gas clouds flying. Right. Anyways, we need like a shattered planet or something. Alright, let's add a shattered planet. Let's make a random rocky planet. We'll have one habitable planet and one nutty shattered planet here. But the wild Krizga. And we'll make him blue. We'll make him completely blue. He'll be big, bright blue. Bright blue Bart. Blue Bart. Blue Bart the blood. The blue blood blah blur. I sound like an idiot. So now we're all we have to do is launch a planet at it. Oh, that comes a close. His name is Pill. Doesn't seem like the right pill to cure him, if you ask me. I'm gonna make him green. And then, like, bright green. Yeah, this definitely doesn't seem the right <laughs> cure to call- to- to stop, you know, to cure him of the blues. I'm going to launch it, that's right now. This doesn't seem like the right pill either. But a sci yeah, it's a Cybell. Let's make it red. And red. And... Um, oh, um, okay. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty nice. Alright, so now let's watch in slow motion. As these planets collide. And blow up fantastically. Red, green, blue. Color schemes. Right. Dun 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 dun. This is this looks really awesome. I have to say. Mine is just flaring up. Ah! Lag! No, we don't like that lag. Almost done eating up red. Ooh, he just ate up red. Why are you killing red? Well, there's a huge gas cloud that weighs a whole moon. Density. It's deep. I don't know. Uh. Let's. Uh. uh let's make that. Now 
don't speed this up a little. Now there's a huge spewing. Honestly, this plant would be completely destroyed right now, but we'll ignore that. Ooh, shine this, shine this, shine this. Honestly, it would be cool if these cooled down and formed into their own moons. No, they don't. That's a shame. This is, this is a shame. But that sure did look cool, so I mean... I mean, ye. Oh no, it's collapsing back into the planet. Well, the fractured planet thing didn't work out as well as I thought it would have. Anyway, here's our planet that we're going to make into a habitable, no man's sky looking world. Alright. Let's make the, this area black. Yeah, there we go, and then. There you go. Atmosphere, surface pressure. Let's give him a huge, a huge atmosphere. Let's also give him a huge moon. No, not launch. Orbit. Uh, uh sure. Alright, that's not bad. Oh, we got the solar eclipse going on. Surface temperature. No, stop decreasing surface temperature. Ten atmospheres, please just stop decreasing in temperature. Albizo, go back up. Albedo on this planet is psycho, if you ask me. It reflects almost everything back at it. How is the water a solid? Alright, we got ourselves in no man's sky. No, what? Looking world. stuff I thought by now. Just kind of thought that it would thaw. Apparently not. It's still solid. Alright, come on. Let's be habitable. Be habitable. Beautiful. It's like a jungle plant. We 
We are the uh, jungle planet. We are the uh, jungle planet. Jungle planet, Bob. Bob. This is, a, this is a cool moon. It should be, should be like dark red and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, that looks good. That looks awful. What have I done? Uh, sure, sure. It'd be cool if the moon was like, was like nicely habitable. Why is there a giant? Alright, anyways, we got this done. Got our nice crazy jungle planet. Uh, we got this guy. Hey, hey, we better check on what the heck happened here. Help me! Where? Why are you up here? Get back with your friends. These merge or something? Help! Yep, they merged. All right. Anyways, help me. Let's move you back.